Alabama is home to several military installations, one of them, of course, Fort Novacell in South Alabama, which until recently was known as Fort Rucker. There may have been a name change, but this post's important mission for the United States military continues. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts is joining us live on post with more. And Sally, you've been bringing us up close looks at what happens there at Fort Novacell on a regular basis. Well, Mark, if you are an Army pilot, Fort Novacell is where you come to train. Air traffic controllers also get their schooling here. This can be intense work, and today we got an up-close look at how they all come together to serve and protect our country. Fort Novacell, home of Army Aviation, covers 63,000 acres in southeast Alabama. There's no better view of the post than from high above. We climbed on board a Black Hawk helicopter for an aerial tour. At the controls, pilots trained right here at Fort Novacell. Not only did we get to ride in the helicopter, we got to see what it's like to fly one. Simulators give a real feel of flying over the post. Fort Novacell trains the world's finest Army aviation professionals. 1,400 soldiers train at the post every year. Fort Novacell houses 518 aircraft. That makes up 13% of the Army's fleet. But Fort Novacell accounts for 36% of the Army's entire flight hours. We fly over a third of the Army's total flight hour program. We do it safely, we do it professionally, generating the world's finest helicopter pilots. Safety is the focus of the U.S. Army Aeromedical Research Laboratory at Fort Novacell, where they work on the protection and performance of Army aviators. That includes helmets and hearing protection. Army aviation is a team sport, and it takes a lot of different pieces to make it happen. It's more than the guy sitting at the controls of the helicopter. It's not just soldiers here on post. Nearly 9,000 civilian workers help keep operations moving. Fort Novacell and the Army Aviation Center of Excellence is they're our backbone for training soldiers is our Army Aviation civilian workforce. The community supports Fort Novacell and in turn, Fort Novacell supports the community. The soldiers here go out into the surrounding neighborhoods and volunteer. They also invite the neighbors to come on post and take advantage of all the resources here. They have a golf course, they have a bowling alley, a beautiful lake with cabin rentals, boat rentals and more that the public's allowed to come in and use as well. Mark? Important not only to our nation's defense, but to that local community as well. Sally, thank you so much. Fort Novacell also means a lot to the state. It has a $9 billion impact on our economy.